something missing from the boat here and that's the tiller just kind of want to figure out what's a comfortable height and length of tiller i think this position probably a good sitting position sitting just over the hat probably have my legs like this i reckon i don't want it to hit my knee this is probably a pretty good height around here and length be a little long do some measurements and see tiller simulator here i think that's a pretty good height down here i mean that's also kind of fine but i feel like that feels pretty good just about 620 above the sole here and as for length that's a meter from the uh the tiller hole there so it'll have to be a bit longer than that maybe if we kind of aim for that well i've taken a bunch of measurements i draw something up in solidworks and see what i can come up with i think the way i'm going to construct it is by cutting a bunch of strips and making a template and laminating them all together in like a nice curve because i think that would look cool and i think it'll work and i've got some nice wood the jarrah and some other nice wood that came from an old fancy chopping board that we have but they're not big enough to carve the whole piece out of so we're gonna have to do something let's see how we go i mean the tiller is not the end of the world if i don't do it right I'm going to just make a new one later. It just has to be functional at this point, but you know, it should still be beautiful if possible. So I've come up with my tiller design here. I took some scans of the profile of the boat here and I've superimposed them over the sketch view in SolidWorks. So you can just see where the lines of the boat go and the rudder down here. I'm sure I'm way overthinking this to be quite honest, but I wanted to make sure that it was all good. This curve here, represents the middle of the tiller. We have a 150 millimeter straight section at the end here and we have a 250 millimeter straight section at the other end which goes through the rudder stock and in between them it's just a basic arc which is a tangent between them so the radius of this arc ends up being about four meters I think 4.203 meters so that's it pretty simple we're just straight section here arc here straight section here and I just wanted to make sure that all the dimensions were right. So this one here to the middle of the tiller, 644 millimeters above the cabin sole. And this distance here, 150 millimeters to the end of the tiller, a pretty comfortable distance for my hand to be. It might be a little bit long, to be honest. I could trim this down and that's it really. Uh, I took a bunch of measurements actually from you know where the position of the hole was this line here represents the top of the hole this line here represents the bottom of the hole by hole of course i mean the hole that the tiller goes through this line here and this line here indicate the extent of the hole in the rudder stock that the rudder up hole and down hole run through i wanted to make sure that the tiller would fit and this hole would still be above the hole you know what i mean because if this was below then the rope would have to go over a hard curve and you know and it sticks out a little bit on the end here so that's it basically i just have to replicate this curve now well, that's the outline of the tiller drawn there Well, that's the mold for the tiller. It doesn't look like very much, and you know, it's a little bit rough around the edges, but the purpose of this is just to give the basic curve to the laminated pieces and be able to clamp them together like that. So it doesn't have to be perfect, because I'm gonna have to trim and shape the tiller after I've glued it up anyway. So now I have to figure out the pieces of this, to cut a bunch of strips, but I have some already. Here's a strip, another quite thin strip of Jarrah, thought I had some more, whoops, snapped that one, there's a thick piece, 
see how what we can do with those. Well, in total, we've got about uh, 20 millimeters of thickness there. We really need to bring it to what was it 45? I need to find some more wood from somewhere. I could cut some of this into strips, although there are staples in this one actually. I have a little bit of this pine. I also have this chopping board here, which we stopped using because it developed this large crack in it. Really big crack. The food kept getting caught down there. It's a bad juju. But it's really nice wood, and I thought it would be nice to get it in the boat somehow. The thickness is not ideal. We can work around that. We can cut the strips this way. I think I'm gonna see what I can do with this on the table saw. Set the fence to 40 mil. Here we go. There's a screw in there. Hmm. Yeah, there. I should have noticed that. So this is somewhat how the mold will work. I've got five millimeter strips here. That was convenient for the Jara because it was already pretty much in five millimeter bits. And it was reasonably, con reasonably convenient for whatever this chopping board wood is. It's so aromatic. It smells like uh, eucalyptus or maybe tea tree oil. I don't know, probably eucalyptus actually. Hopefully it's not too oily that the epoxy doesn't work with it. I guess I'll see. Oh, well. I have 180 centimeters missing of this stuff so I'll have to chop up a little bit more of that but I've got enough jarra for three layers and I've got enough of this stuff for four layers so that'll give us seven layers in total seven times five is 35 but you know it's more than that actually it's like I mean they're slightly thicker I guess because this is just almost 45 so I reckon with all the glue and everything in it, that'll bring it up to 45. And I mean, it doesn't have to be 45 anyway. That's just sort of arbitrary. Should be good, I think. Yep. Well, I think that went pretty well. All the pieces laminated together. Got the curve in there. And it didn't stick to the bench. just about do. I left it squared off at the end that goes through the rudder blocking. It's hard to see but it is. Then I've got a slight round over and then where your hand goes it's tapered to a large diameter of round over. I left it quite thick because I wasn't sure exactly how thick I'd want it. So it might be a little bit thick at the end, it might be a little bit uncomfortable. If so, I can always just sand it back and taper it a little bit more. But I think I'll uh, leave it like that for now. It's ready to get a bit of epoxy on it. Need to figure out where the hole goes as well. 
so I need to drill the hole on this and on the rudder blocking. I think I'll just drill them all as one in one fell swoop to make sure everything's perfectly aligned. Okay, here's the dealio. I've got the tiller clamped in place. I've got the rudder cheeks clamped in place. Got a nine millimeter block under there so that the tiller is level. And I got another one under there supporting this end being clamped. I have wedges that I'm using to center the tiller exactly in this space. I've tapped the wedges carefully and measured the distance and it's even on both sides. This should be centered in this hole. This point is centered in this hole. Everything's clamped down. Everything's level. I got this feller again. I'm going to use that to drill the exact perpendicular hole all the way through in one go. I just realized that I haven't got anything under this, so I'm going to end up drilling a hole through my bench. It took like half an hour to set this up, so you know what? I'm going to take that hit to my bench. I'll make it into a clamp hole later. Cool. Sorry, bench. Oh, it smells so good when you drill through this. The white wood in the tiller is eucalyptus and it just smells amazing. Quite pleased with that. That hole ended up pretty much exactly in the center line here. I would have been annoyed if it hadn't. And uh, this hole here is just a hole. See how it goes together. Nice. So we get our pivot point here. The tiller can go up a little bit and down a little bit. It's quite a bit of range maybe uh, 30 centimeters. There's a little bit of sideways movement as well. Um, it's hard to tell, it's not much. I might see if I can make up some, make up some thin shims to go in here. It's, it's not much at all, but it might be annoying while you're sailing. So but that's the tiller in place. Ha, it's a real beefcake. I mean, I have reasonably big hands and I can just grab around it. Oh, I like the stripes. Anywho, now we have to epoxy this.